Hey guys, so I am back with a new video and this is going to be another illustration for the Disney Princess inspired collection. This time it is inspired by Aurora from Sleeping Beauty. The main idea that I tried to incorporate for Aurora is of course the fact that she is called the Sleeping Beauty. So I initially chose the fabric silk a long time ago since I just thought that she is definitely one of the classic Disney princesses and silk seems like a really classic fabric choice. So during the designing process, I was on Google search, like I always am, looking for silk dresses as an example. To be more precise, I looked at silk wedding dresses since I wanted the dress design to have more volume than I suppose a simple floor length dress. And that's when the idea popped into my mind. Silk is normally used in lingerie and sleeping wear, so I thought why not incorporate a sleeping gown design to my own dress design. The cut of the dress, or at least the top, was definitely inspired by the sleeping gown, with the triangular bust area and the delicate straps. I was also originally planning to add some lace detailing to the dress like you would see in a sleeping gown. However, it looked too much like lingerie, so I ended up abandoning the lace idea. The silk fabric I had in mind was the kind of lightweight fabric which drapes flawlessly to the ground. It definitely inspired the silhouette of the skirt, so there were a lot of straight lines from the waist to the figure's feet. And there was also nothing overly dramatic with the way the skirt was, I guess I'm just going to use this term, constructed. I suppose it was kind of just simple and I think I really wanted to emphasize the drapes of the skirt. When I was doing a bit of research on silk fabric and how I can render it, I saw some dresses that were not so shiny and other dresses that were really shiny. So that was a bit confusing, which means that I probably have to do more learning about different types of fabrics. but. Anyway, I chose something that had a bit of a shine to it since I like rendering those kind of fabrics. I always think that they add some interest to the drawing. So of course, I chose the color pink for the color of her dress. Since she is marketed in the pink dress rather than the blue dress, I opted for the popular option. When I was rendering the drawing, I didn't really do anything different to how I normally color with my Copic markers. I simply followed the drape of the dress and colored from top to bottom. 
I also added some gray tones to the dress when shading since a lot of reference images I looked at had a tint of gray in them. I also tried my best to make the transition from dark to light really soft and smooth since that's the texture of silk. However, I'm not so sure if I achieved that. I did refrain from using black when shading since black would have been too harsh on the fabric. And instead of using white, I chose to use a really light pink, although in the video it looks white, but in real life it definitely looks or it has a very faint tint of pink on the dress. The only time that I did use white was to correct some areas where I might have colored too dark on the dress. And that's about it for the rendering. As for the pose, I should have talked about this earlier, but I didn't really try to incorporate the pose to Aurora's character. I suppose I was thinking more on how I could really show off the dress, and that's how I made the choice. Since I don't have anything else that I want to talk about, that is it for the narration. I really like how this turned out and I hope you guys like it as well. That will be all for this video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.